This is the point that will be in before the toss. The Super Bowl logo is heads. The other side is tails. New England is a visiting team. Captain, what is your choice? Heads. They have chosen heads. President Bush, would you please toss the coin? It is tails. Atlanta has won the choice and elects to defer the choice to the second half. teams feel like the way possessions break down, if you defer, you often end up with the last possession of the half in the first half, and the first possession of the half in the second half. So they're hoping to kind of go two for one and get two scores there as they get a little momentum going in, and that's more momentum coming back out. Well, this is an interesting matchup because this is the rare occasion where the Atlanta Falcons have the number one scoring offense, or the Patriots the number one scoring defense. And Charles, with the exception of 1989, the team with the number one scoring defense has won in the Super Bowl. And I think that's thrown a lot of people off because the offense is what excites people. But when you get into games like this, the offenses usually aren't as high scoring as they are in the regular season and the defenses tend to take over in tough situations. What a magical moment with President Bush and Mrs. Bush here. Both of them have been battling some health problems and came out and took care of the coin toss. Absolutely phenomenal. I had a chance to meet President Bush when he was Vice President Bush when I was a high schooler. An absolute thrill. Met him in the Rose Garden at the White House, and now to see him out here tossing the coin, a phenomenal moment. Seven Super Bowl appearance for Bill Belichick. That is an NFL record. The Patriots in their ninth Super Bowl, which is also an NFL record. Belichick and Tom Brady have been absolutely incredible. Can they win their fifth? Can Tom Brady become the first quarterback in NFL history to win five Super Bowls? Well, you see the players jogging around. They went the wrong way. Atlanta was going to kick off from your left to your right, but they reversed the field. So the returners have to go down to the other end of the field. We are just about set to go. Matt Bosher, who was the punter for the Atlanta Falcons, handles the kickoffs. So Matt Ryan will hope that his defense to get a stop and then get that offense back out on the field nice and quick. Deion Lewis is back deep for New England. Lewis only had two kickoff returns during the regular season, averaged 17 and a half yards a return. Tom Brady, one final check of the playlist on that left wristband of what they want to open up against this young, fast, aggressive Atlanta Falcons defense. And if you're Atlanta kicking off, you want to be fast and aggressive covering the kickoff, but you have to be careful to make sure you space it properly because Deion Lewis had a kickoff return for a touchdown in the playoffs against Houston, 98 yards. And with everyone's emotions sky high right now at the kickoff, this is when mistakes occur. So Atlanta's got to be careful with that. Bosher is set. He'll walk off his paces. Get Super Bowl 51 underway. Lewis will take a knee, which means that the New England Patriots will start first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Tom Brady, 164 completions in the Super Bowl. These are all Super Bowl records. 1,600 yards and 13 touchdowns in Super Bowl play. about you, Bob, but I'm eager to see what the game plan is early for New England and Tom Brady. Do they come out aggressive, spread the field, throw the ball around, or do they go with a heavy dose of running the ball against a lighter Atlanta Falcons defense? They start with a four-receiver set, Deion Lewis, the running back to the right of Brady. Brady with time, Brady dropped by Edelman, 